one of the final comments I want to mention about the uh, BizTalk rule engine is it is a ready algor algorithm. So if you go to Wikipedia and read about RETE, it was created by Charles, and I believe his name is pronounced Forgy. So right here, it's RET. RETE algorithm, an efficient pattern matching algorithm for implementing production rule systems. So this algorithm goes back to, I believe, 1979 to 1982 when this guy wrote his uh, dissertation or whatever. And Microsoft basically implemented his logic in the Microsoft Business Rule Engine. And one of the key words you'll hear a lot of people talk about is it's a forward chaining business rule engine. And you can read more about what that means on this web page. What that means to you basically is the following. Let's do a quick example here. So here's a very kind of brief example. What if one of your rules could impact other ones of your rules? And so here we have if a customer risk, which is say a number 1 to 10, is greater than 5, we're going to set the interest rate to 0 and we're not going to give them a loan. If their risk is less than 5, we're going to give them a 5% interest rate. If their income is less than 15000 a year, then we're going to up their risk number by a factor of 2. So it doesn't matter. Maybe their risk was a 4, and if their income is low, we want to bump it up to a 6. So you realize running this if statement here, its outcome is going to change the risk, which then what happens to these two rules? And so when you have situations like this, the general issue is just to beware and to do a lot more research. I think it's a little beyond the scope of what we need to cover in this series of videos. However, there is a command that you can put in your activities, and that's called update, that you want to re-update the risk back into the business rule engine, and that will cause other rules to get fired again. And just briefly, let me show you where that fits in here. So like right here, you can say action, update, and then you give the name of the fact. The fact could be a XML schema, or it could be a .NET class, etc., etc. And so that's what the update command is there for. So again, think of it as a forward chaining uh, inference engine, and you can read more about that on Wikipedia. And then beware of situations where one rule can affect other rules. You can actually end up with, with an endless loop here if you're not very careful.